Hi, my name is Oscar and I'm 48 years old. I recently suffered from a stroke and have been diagnosed with ideomotor apraxia. Before my stroke, I was fully functional. Um, I work full time as a florist and used to recreationally bowl in a bowling league. Now I have trouble getting dressed and brushing my teeth. Um, I can no longer work and I got fired recently and I can no longer do the bowling that I used to enjoy. Ideal motor apraxia is due to a lesion site in the left parietal lobe and or premotor areas of the brain due to a stroke or brain injury. Patients with ideal motor apraxia have the inability to imitate gestures or perform purposeful movements on command even though they fully understand the idea or concept of the task. These patients, although unable to perform on command, retain kinesthetic patterns and the ability to carry out many old habitual motor tasks automatically. The impaired body functions are motor planning with a loss of skilled sequence as well as impaired motor performance often indicated by perseverations in movements, spatial errors, extra movements, omissions, and substitutions. Okay. Hi Oscar, I'm Rachel. I'm an occupational therapy student and I'll be assessing you today. I'll be using the apraxia screen of Tulia, also known as the AMC. This will test the severity of your motor apraxia. The AST is a 12-item screen to assess the presence and severity of apraxia. It consists of 12 total gestures, including one meaningless imitation, three intra-transitive, and eight transitive. The minimum score is zero, while the maximum score is 12. The maximum score indicates no apraxia. For each item, the participants receive a score of one, which is pass, or zero, which is fail. Cutoff scores of 9 and 5 estimate abnormal or mild and severe apraxia, respectively. Score of 10 to 12 indicates no praxis errors. Score of 6 to 9 indicate abnormal praxis or mild apraxia. Score of 5 or less indicates severe apraxia. Can you please imitate me as precisely as possible? For the next five gestures, imagine you holding a tool or object in hand, do not use your fingers as a tool. Drink from a glass. Smoke a cigarette. Use a hammer. Use scissors. Use a stand to postmark. Now, can you perform these gestures as precisely as possible? Show as if someone is crazy. Make a threatening sign. Again, imagine holding a tool or object in hand. Do not use your fingers. Brush your teeth. Comb your hair. Use a screwdriver. We're going to focus on a technique called combined physical and mental practice that will help reduce your impairment and help improve motor performance and enable you to be more independent in your ADO. We're going to start with mental practice. Okay, Oscar, can you please show me how you put the jacket on? Mm -hmm. Can I have you lay down and please close your eyes? Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Imagine the jacket in your lap. It is green and smooth. Feel the texture. The zipper. Draw attention to the right sleeve. Hold the jacket with your left hand while you search for the right sleeve. Feel the opening. Thread your arm through the right sleeve and then search for the left sleeve and thread your left arm through the left sleeve. Can you please put on the jacket for me again? Can you put your right arm through the right sleeve? Was this helpful for you? Yes. It seems like you had an easier time putting on your jacket. Today was an introduction, but next session we will start with 30 minutes of physical practice and then 30 minutes of mental practice.